hello my sugar plums welcome back to my channel guys in today's diy i'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful custom made wine glass that i call mermaid tail as in mermaid story not in mermaid tail you, you understand oh, okay <laughs> all right guys so it's super easy to make you only need a few products and a little little bit of epoxy you don't need to use a lot of epoxy on it guys we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the tutorial and make sure to check the link in the description box for every products that i use i'll leave the link for you there so you can go and buy them or check them out if you want to make this glass yourself okay so first thing of course you're gonna be needing it's a wine glass i'm using a wine glass that's pretty big um make sure you have your gloves on and make sure you wipe it down with some alcohol i use 95 percent of alcohol to do my projects so when you wipe it with alcohol this will remove every single um you know oil that's in the glass that your finger might have transferred to it and, and we're gonna be using like four different type of epoxy i'm gonna be using diamond liquid fire from a di um, black diamond and i'm just gonna uh, also gonna be using pearl gold the color papaya and the color c and those are from authors um you can use any type uh, of color that you want it doesn't have to be this one but you know this is the color scheme that i wanted to go now for my uh, fine glitter i use a sand from let's resin and also going to be using the color silver red from let's resin those are going to be my fine glitters now from my chunky glitters i'm going to be using uh some um chunky opal glitter from mixology and i'll leave the link for every single one um the whole box that i've uh, purchased on, on amazon i'll leave the link for everything for you guys make sure to check the description um, box below for uh, the products detail and of course you guys know i use um primary supply for my epoxy you don't need a lot of epoxy to do this project guys as any you know like glass or mugs or you know like custom that you're gonna be needing you only need a little bit of epoxy so i mixed 20 uh, ml of epoxy and i'm gonna buy that in four cups and i left a little bit of the clear um there for um that's gonna serve me as my base uh coat now i'm gonna go ahead and mix my mica powders into my little uh medicine cup that i divided um and make sure you mix it really well guys because you don't want any chunk of powder showing you know into uh, on your cup it's not gonna look pretty it's gonna be a mess so make sure you mix your product uh, really well into your little bit of epoxy that you have now i'm gonna go ahead and with the clear that i have we're gonna go ahead and put that down as a base and again guys you don't need a lot of epoxy because trust me uh while the you know the cup spinner is gonna it's gonna spin the um the glass or the cup for you it's gonna make it so much easier to level and make everything nice and smooth for you so i'm putting my base coat down which is just a clear and then uh, i'm gonna go ahead and add my color pigment and i'm gonna focus that just in the middle of the cup because i want both the top part and the bottom part of the cup to be a bit sheer without any you know the mica powder in it so we're gonna focus all the mica powder in the center of the cup instead and we're not gonna put anything on the top of the bottom now as i'm pouring my um my maca powder colors in you know in the middle of the cup if you have like any bit of color that fall into like a place that you don't want it to be i'm gonna be showing you how to remove it it's super easy guys don't worry don't go and think that you have messed up your project it's so easy to make uh, it's so easy to remove with just a little bit of alcohol and wipe so i'm doing right now i'm showing i'm adding all my colors together once i finish adding all my colors together in the middle of part of the cup i'm gonna go ahead and use my heat gun and then we're gonna pop the bubbles and use the heat gun also to you know move and warm the epoxy so it will mix a bit better now i got a new heat gun I don't know how many heat gun I have been using guys seriously I bought like at least this is probably my fourth one uh, I still have one that's still working but uh, because it doesn't have a control of the air flow and the heat itself it's 
it's kind of use it's kind of hard to use in small project like this but as you see right here i'm sure i showed you i just used like a little bit of cotton pad and then some alcohol in it and then voila you remove you know any unwanting you know color that is showing uh in a, in a spot that you don't want now this is my new heat gun guys as you can see i'm showing you have like airflow and heat control you have like two different settings and it also came with different nozzle i absolutely love this heat gun so you can fo focus your you know your heat in like one specific space and also you have the control of how much air that you you can use on your uh, you know whatever project that you, you're doing so also leave the link for this heat gun for you i got this from amazon and it's sick one heat gun so i'll leave everything for you in the description box below guys make sure you check them out so i'm gonna go ahead and do this and then i'm gonna let it spin for 15 minutes on this side and then we're gonna reverse it and make it spin you know counter close uh, clockwise in the other side for another 15 minutes and then we're gonna go and start adding our um, glitter now guys thank you so much for being here i really really appreciate that guys and if you're new to my channel this is your first time on this channel welcome thank you so much for being here i really really appreciate your presence here please do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to this channel that will help me out a lot make sure you like this video share it with your friend and family also that will help out a lot with my channel i really really appreciate for all the all subscribers that's coming back and watch my video all the time for all the comment and support guys you are amazing thank you so much for being here i love you so 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 very much all right guys so now this has been like about 30 minutes since my cup been spinning so we're gonna go ahead and start adding our glitter now i'm gonna go ahead with my silver red good fine glitter and add that as the base color for both the top and the bottom part once we finish adding the silver uh, red color i'm gonna go ahead and start adding my chunky opal glitter from mixology and we're gonna be adding all those i believe i use like five of them i use a champagne gold uh, sky blue opal gold opal and um purple opal and um another color i don't remember but i leave the link for the box that i purchased it came with 12 in the box and it was super super cheap guys and they are beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and i'll add all my chunky glitter from the buff uh, top and the bottom part of the cup now we're gonna be adding a little bit of the glitter in the color itself just to give it the impression that it's like you know it's a gradient color so it's gonna blend and give you like that beautiful gradient so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then but the middle part middle part of it it's gonna stay without any glitter at all and this gonna make it look so beautiful like a mer uh, like a mermaid tail guys i absolutely love those chunky glitter it's beautiful and then to seal everything up and we're gonna go ahead and you know close any gap with the sand a fine glitter and then we're gonna add it on top of a chunking glitter and then this is gonna allow every gap that's showing in the glitter part to completely seal once we finish guys this is what it's gonna be looking like i'm gonna go ahead and let this completely you know dry or cure for at least six hours and we're gonna let it spin in the cup runner for like this amount of time and make sure you reverse turning it you know like if you do three hours on one side make sure you reverse it and do three hour on the other side as well now once we finish i'm gonna go ahead and add a base coat a clear base coat again this time you don't need to add a lot of epoxy i literally did like 10 ml of epoxy on a, a medicine cup five of the resin one and five of the hardened so because of the epoxy i'm using it so one to one ratio so I, we just want to go ahead and seal all the glitters that we've been adding and this is gonna help you know um when you send your cup later on to not remove every single piece of glitter that you already have now if you're doing this you know so you can do add the glitter you know before adding any epoxy and you can you know just use like mod podge for example and add your glitter and then seal it let it dry and put a clear coat of epoxy on it and then do the center uh, of the mica powder but i prefer to do it this way because that way i have everything nice and smooth now once i finish adding my color coat on top of this i'm gonna go ahead and let it dry and cure 
overnight and then the next day i will go in with a 220 uh, grit sandpaper i'm gonna lightly sand everything out remove any grits that's showing you know make the whole surface really nice smooth smooth and even and then we're gonna go ahead and add our top coat of uh, clear resin on it this glass is super easy to make guys I'm showing right now this is the next day after we put our sealant coat in it and I'm gonna go ahead and with the um, 220 grit sandpaper I'm showing you right now we're gonna go ahead and lightly you know send everything the whole glass and this is what it's gonna be looking like once we finish I'm gonna go ahead and wash the whole thing with soap and water let it dry and then I'm gonna put it back into the cup runner and then I'm gonna um, again wipe it out with the um, alcohol again to make sure there is no oil on you know on the top of uh, of the cup now once i finish wiping it with, with alcohol then we're gonna go ahead and add our top coat now for the top coat i went and add a full ounce of epoxy because i want to you want to make sure that you know the uh, the the whole uh, surface of your glass or mugs is like very nice have like a very thick coat of epoxy on it and use your just your glove finger to add them and because you're using the cup uh, runner the cup turner i keep saying runner i don't know why <laughs> because you're using the cup turner this gonna help the whole thing to stay leveled and you won't lose you know as much epoxy as if you were just to you know pour the epoxy on the cup itself because if you do that it will just run down and then you'll be using uh, losing a lot of epoxy but the cup runner will help it a lot guys i'll leave the link for this in the description box below guys and you can make some beautiful product with it so I highly suggest that you buy this if you want to make any customization of cups or mugs or anything like this. Now for the final coat, I'm not going to be using my heat gun. I went and used my uh, torch to pop the bubble so that way my epoxy doesn't, uh, you know, warm too much and, you know, fall again you know, off the cup. Now again, it's going to be the same thing. We let it dry overnight and then this is the next morning. I'm showing you the final product. You can see how beautiful it looks guys. It looked like a mermaid tail but you know i wanted to um to call it mermaid tail also because it, it kind of remind me this is the beautiful story of a mermaid i absolutely love it i'm showing you what it looks like inside the house and then i'm gonna go outside and show you what it looks like in daylight and this is what it looks like in the light you can see guys it's so beautiful i love the opal um, um glitter the chunky glitter is so beautiful they look like scale um almost uh, it's beautiful i love the color scheme but again guys you can do any color you want it doesn't have to be this color you can do any color scheme you want or you can put the the maca powder on the top and the bottom uh, with the glitter or vice and versa guys the infant you know the possibility are endless so i hope you enjoyed this video guys i have many video like this one make sure you check out my channel for any video or check the link in the description box uh, that i'm gonna be um leaving for you guys as well make sure that you click on the next video here to uh, check out another glass uh, custom glass that i made uh, before uh, thank you so much guys for being here i will see you on the next video guys thank you so much i love you so 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 very much thank you for all the love and support and as always guys you know the drill be blessed and stay blessed i love you guys bye